And that is a gift. All of our feelings and emotions are gifts. And our ability to feel them as deeply as some of us are able to feel them, it is a gift. But it takes time to get to this type of awareness through a lot of ups and downs, through a lot of feelings and emotions, this type of awareness where it's not a bad one and it's not a good one. All of these are also learned. We're not born with this. We learn this through our life, through the journey. And learning how to be more present in the present moment and not trying to rush the process to get to some next thing, the next goal, the next destination. But learning how to enjoy the ride. The emotional roller coaster of some days or some week or weeks or some months. And this is why I'm here able to talk to you in the way that I am talking to you as I've gone through my emotional roller coaster with losing to me my best friend. To some of some people it's just a cat, but all of us are different. To me, that was definitely not just a cat. It never will be just a cat. But I also understand that to some people, we're all different, we're all empaths, and we're all a little bit of narcissists. But then there is those who have, who are just narcissists and learn how to manipulate those around them to drain that empath in their life. So emotional wealth characterized by strong and supportive relationships, empathy, resilience, and emotional intelligence it involves feeling deeply connected to oneself and others and experiencing a range of positive emotions. And I would also add experiencing the range of negative emotions and not and learning how not to judge emotions as positive or negative but just allowing them to to be to exist because we're meant to and learning to appreciate all of the feelings and emotions because you only get to do it in this lifetime and not the next